do 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 it's the audio daily daily double man i i really fucked that up well hey uh, i i got some uh i, I got the uh, quesadilla so i guess there's some kind of continuity here i mean if you remember like yesterday you know but yeah you know uh yeah it's a uh, it's pretty decent though, like uh, for microwave quesadillas though, cause like, not gonna lie, like now that there's like flash freezing all over the place, like microwave food isn't bad anymore. Hmm. I mean, at least I'm. There's there's some arguments against it. They're still valid. Hmm. What? Hmm. Now that we got flash freezing. Ah. Sorry, I just drenched that shit in hot sauce, so it's just, yeah. But now that we got flash freezing and shit, that means we don't have to, like, worry about, you know, things, uh, things being, like, slightly decomposed by the point they get in the store shelves. Like, things being mushy like twice as mushy as microwaves make shit cuz i know microwaves do make shit kind of mushy and yeah that's that's one big caveat but the thing is though when uh, you just got to be careful about what you put in the microwave you know like put shit that like is mostly not watery like toast in the microwave, like, if you if you want to make a burger and, like, put some, like, uh, chihuahua cheese on that burger and just, like, heat it up, I'd suggest using toast as the buns. Like, just full-on, like, fully cooked golden brown toast rather than, like, normal burger buns because that shit's going to come out soggy as balls. Like, I'm talking, like, oh my goodness, you, you, you might as well just be be eating, like, a, a fucking burger thrown into a blender, dude. It's, it's gross. It's gross. But, that's, that's the one caveat to microwaves, you know. But still, you know, I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Flash freezing? Like, it's probably one of the best things that's happened to humanity in the past few years. Hands down. Because, like, back when we were, uh, back when we were dealing with, like, frozen food and the fucking, uh, oh, shit. Probably, like, 70s? 70s, maybe? Uh, like, it just made shit taste worse. It just actually made it taste worse. But now that we're dealing with, like, food that's being, like, frozen, or as soon as it's collected, as soon as it's chopped up, or even, like, with vegetables and shit, mm, it's arguably even more fresh than just when it's been sitting on a fucking shelf decomposing until you buy it, you know? Because that way it's at least more fresh than that, you know? I don't know. I don't know. There's probably some kind of study on that shit. I don't, I don't fucking know. I don't, I don't fucking care. I just, I just like this quesadilla. I think it tastes good. Mmm. I mean... Yeah. But yeah, back to my point, though. Microwave food... It's not bad anymore. It really isn't bad anymore. Oh. Mm. Well, I mean, like, 
frozen microwave food. There was always microwave food that was good all the time, you know, like fucking ramen noodles or some shit. But still. Mmm. You get my point. I mean, of course, when it comes to frozen shit, the ideal way to cook it is probably like air frying or like with a with, with an actual conventional oven. But still, yeah, I'm not complaining when it comes to this taste right here. Mm. Especially when it's doused with hot sauce. That's how I like it. Mmm. Ah. Uh. Mmm. Good shit. Mmm. Mmm. Uh. Anyways, uh, have a good one.